warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Their meeting at Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Play action. It's Smith. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. And their coach told us the other day that they wanted to get him in a nice groove right out of the gate. And one way to do that, give him quick throws where he can get the ball out of his hand in a hurry, as he did there. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and three. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just wanted to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep him bottled up? Instead, they tackle him for a loss. Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. First carry here for Ken Walker. Down to about the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Sticking with Walker on second down. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 40-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on it. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. I have a few questions about that throw because to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to punt this one away. And back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. They'll get this out wide to Metcalf. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 14 yards that time for number 14. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Back to throw, Smith. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Throwing now is Gino. Escaping the pressure. And he will score. Touchdown, 
of Seattle. Geno Smith, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Pats at the line ready to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number? Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Trey Brown. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Myers connects on the PAT, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. They just get the playoff. Now Brissett. Short pass caught by Henry. The result only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now a second and six. Straight ahead, Gibson. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Brissett sets to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Brissett. Pass caught here by Osborne. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 31-yard line. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Gibson here running out of the gun. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Brissett now. Short pass caught by Henry. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 21. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. The tight end Henry here in motion. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Brissett. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now you get to the check down, a nice, safe throw, and a good one. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Gibson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. One more time with Gibson. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A one-yard touchdown pass, and the Patriots are back within a score. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Sticking with Walker on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. And if that run looks familiar to you by Walker, it should. You saw it at Wake Forest, at Michigan State, and in the NFL here with Seattle. A nice start to his career, totaling a little over 2,400 yards from scrimmage and 18 touchdowns in his first two seasons. Now Gino. This one goes underneath to Walker. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. 
Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Repeated the last play, finding Walker. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point... And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf, 40 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a two-touchdown lead now. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and it is now 21-7. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing, Brissett. Hey, he's gonna drop this one down to Gibson. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he gets this to Thornton. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And in the air once more, it's Brissett. Short pass caught by Henry. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now Brissett. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now second and nine. Brissett again. Over the middle and hauled in by Osborne. So eight yards on the completion there, and that will bring up third and one. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here's Brissett. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half.
This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. To throw is Brissett. And he'll just get rid of it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. Sly able to put this one through, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yard. And he lost the football. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. A tackle made by Boye Mafe. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. To throw, Brissett. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brissett. Oh, he stays up. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, if they have any designs of getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. On oh, the return is Williams. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 55 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it. 
and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. They run again with Walker. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. They'll try for the first with Walker. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. They'll try the air now with Smith. Over the middle here to Brown. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. So from the 22, here's second and two. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Smith and Jigba with a grab. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Walker. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. Back to Walker on first down. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. A yeah, quick throw there is incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And it's third down. Here's Smith. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Now Myers for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And what a return. Great field position all the way out to the 48 there. 
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Brissett sets to throw it. Short pass caught by Henry. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down at seven. Here's Brissett. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's Brissad. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. He finds Douglas complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 29, here's second down and two. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Play fake, Broussard. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there, 21 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we... And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. K.J. Osborne there to make the grab and the Patriots have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth so a little bit of a letdown there defensively I mean look you're still two scores to the good CD but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped yeah if you kept them out of the end zone there this game's over you've locked the door on them instead it's still open a little bit and they've got a puncher's chance Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Seahawks, looks like they've recovered. They have. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Oh, that's a tough one for a quarterback because on a bootleg, you turn your back to the defense naturally and you lose sight of the defenders for just a split second. And then surprise, in this case, someone's right in his grill. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. His throw incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the 50, it's Smith. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. 
Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And obviously, they want that run yardage, so they decline the penalty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Smart on their part. They finished off the play. But if you're going to jump, if you're going to commit a penalty, it's your job to finish off the play so you don't give up big gains like that. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Walker with another carry. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the gun, it's Walker. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, and that should just about do it. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. Down to a knee, here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So the victory here for Seattle, and we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, 
Here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle. Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.